how's it going? So today we're going to be focusing on primarily harvesting all of our onions, possibly some peppers if we have time, but I have a whole bunch of onions this year, way more than I've ever grown, not on purpose really. Uh, you know, I started some candy and Walla Walla onion seeds inside early on. They were beautiful. I planted them out here in the cut flower garden. Then we had a huge, huge windstorm and it, I thought it killed them and they got brown, they flopped over, they just were crispy. I thought for sure they were dead. So uh, maybe a week or so later, I went and bought more onion starts, brought them home, and when I started to plant them in the same location, I realized like, oh, I don't think these are actually dead. I think that the roots were fine. And they picked up and started growing. They are a little smaller than the other ones because they were set back a little bit, but it made it to where like I needed to designate another spot, which is right here, for all the rest of the onions that I brought home. So I have a whole bunch, a whole bunch of onions. So I got the tractor out and some crates. We're gonna be just digging them up today. These could have been harvested quite a long time ago. <laughs> you kind of use the way the leaves look as an indicator. Well, and you can clearly see. I mean, look at this onion. Look at that beautiful, beautiful onion right there. They're gorgeous and they're huge. I think this is a Walla Walla. I think that's the section I'm in right now. Um, but typically what you look for when the onion stalk starts to soften right here, you can see in this one too, it's soft, a little bit more soft and starts to flop over. That means your onion is done. It's ready to be harvested. You can see there's a few that aren't uh, flopped over yet, but they are getting fairly squishy. So I'm just gonna go ahead and harvest all of them today. All of these, oh my mercy. Nope, I just figured it out. These are actually candies. And then I only had a few Walla Wallas left. Let's see, where did I just see that tag? Right here. There's a few Walla Wallas in here. The rest of them are in a different location. And then the white sweet Spanish are right here. So these don't look quite as big, but they're nice. Our initial batch of onions are in this area over here. Okay, so here they are. Look at how much of a difference is it, the plants that I bought. And these are the poor ones that got completely beat down in a storm, but they still bulbed up nice. They're still really nice onions. Like, I'm happy with that. That's a pretty decent, decently huge onion there. And really the other reason why I wanna get these out now is I still have time to plant quite a number of different crops uh, for fall harvest. So I really think this is a significant amount of space where these are growing and I wanna get them lifted so I can get something else going so we can get maximum productivity from this space. I'm gonna probably have to grab more crates than this, but this is a good start. So basically I'm just gonna pull them out, put them in the crates and we'll take a look. goodness you guys look at this I think we're at roughly 400 onions right here I think a lot of them especially the candies sized up beautifully and there were several good sized white sweet Spanish but a lot of them were kind of like on the medium side and then there were only like 15 Walla Wallas in this section but we're gonna take these all to the barn and get them all laid out so that we can have these crates for the next section
I can't even believe it. Like I knew I planted a lot of onions, but my goodness. And these right here are the candy onions. Look at this, look at how massive. I mean, most of them are pretty good size. The white sweet Spanish over here are kind of a medium size onion. There's some that are a little bit on the big side. And then down here, there's more white sweet Spanish. And then these are largely Walla Wallas. I think there might be a couple of candies in here. I kind of got mixed up toward the end. So <laughs> either way, I kind of treat them the same way. So 816, you guys, roughly is what I counted right here. And I did not um, harvest some of the on onions up in my raised bed, which would put me well over a thousand. That is a crazy amount of onions. I was just thinking, well, there's no way I could use probably more than one onion per day. That's 365 onions. So I'll probably attempt to store around 300 ish, maybe a little bit more because it's likely they wouldn't keep the entire 12 months. Um, so I will keep back, um, a few hundred and then to store in our root cellar, and then I will uh, give away the rest. So what I need to do at this point, you see, I have them all laid out in a single layer on the floor they will sit in here in the garage it's warm but it's protected from like direct beating sun and they'll stay here for a couple of weeks to cure so it'll help them dry too because the, i forgot to turn the water off uh, to those rows so some soil was sticking to them and when you're wanting to store them long term you need to make sure there's no extra moisture hanging out around those bulbs so in the curing process we leave the greens and the roots on the bulb and the onion itself will continue to draw energy from the green left in those leaves or the, you know whatever energy is left in the leaves and the roots after the curing process is when we'll clean them and and that's when I'll get weights. Um, we don't weigh when there's still greens attached to them because that's not how we buy them in the store. So anyway, we'll weigh them after uh, we get them all cleaned up. I can't even believe it. This doesn't even include one of the raised beds, which I think I only harvested 30, 35, something like that. Um, we've already, I already have some in the root cellar and have been using those. So for those of you guys who hadn't seen our root cellar yet, it's right back here in the back of our barn. It's just this little six by nine little uh, walled in area. Before it was an open cubby. There was actually a wall that came out, but it was just a, an empty cubby that we had just random things tucked away. So we thought it would be really nice if we could just like, I don't know, make it an actual room where we could climate control. So you can see right here that I've got 56, that's kind of flashing on the screen, 56 degrees, 75% humidity right now. We've got some drinks in here too. <laughs> um, we've got some squash from last year still sitting in here. Uh, my crates that I've been using to harvest and those are where our dahlia tubers will go and our dahlia tubers will be right up against the back wall. These right here are just completely full of potatoes. So we've got four things of potatoes so far. I still have carrots and beets from last year in here. Uh, we've got all of our garlic right here, dried chilies from last year. And then these right here are the onions I harvested already that we've been using off of. So there's a few left. And then this right here is my basket full of small potatoes. <laughs> so anything that looks like these little baby potatoes, they don't store quite as long. And since they're all the same size-ish, they kind of cook up the same. So it's really nice. I can come out here and just grab a whole bunch. They have really tender skin, so I can just clean them up and pop them in um, some boiling water and soften them up. And, roll them in some butter and parsley and salt and pepper. They're really good that way. I got that at the store. I didn't grow that. I haven't harvested, harvested any watermelons yet. And I've got all my, whoa, I've got all my sunflower seeds from last year. These were th from the huge, huge sunflowers that we grew. You can see I got a whole lot of use out of those <laughs> through the winter. This right here is just so satisfying. So satisfying, I just love it. All right, so now let's head up to the house. I wanna show you all the peppers and a few other things I picked today. Okay, so I spread everything else out on the table. You can see my water. So I fill a 46 ounce thermos up of ice water and you should drink about two or three of those throughout the course of the day. And I used this little trug, I don't know what they're called, tub trug from Gardner Supply. I never really, cause they're so brightly colored. I just didn't like lean on using those. I usually use baskets, but oh my goodness. The flexibility of this basket's really nice. So you can do this kind of number with it, which I really like. Anyways, in terms of peppers, we have Rayano peppers here, which look really good. There's a whole bunch of peppers still on the plants, like especially, especially bell peppers. And I did not harvest any uh, jalapenos, serranos, or Thai chilies. And those plants are absolutely loaded. So for Rayonos, I don't even know, just a pile of them. I didn't count. We got uh, four red bells today. 
three orange bells, which are a little on the small size and a little bit like this one was around a uh, branch. Can you see that? Isn't that cool? It's cool what uh, vegetables and fruit do. These right here are the sweet banana peppers, whole big pile of those. These are called gypsy and these are a sweet pepper as well. And then we have barracuda peppers, which are a poblano type pepper. And my mom's actually gonna come over later tonight and we are going to roast and uh, can these, kind of like the canned green chilies you buy at the store. I use those on occasion in recipes and we thought it'd be fun to make a, just a small batch to see, just to test it out. And then for dinner tonight, I went ahead and I picked a little bit of corn, which I think is ready. Let's look. Well, that one looks a little spotty. Incomplete pollination. Let's see, let's look at another one. Whoop, whoa. Oh, that one looks a lot better. Yeah. So we're gonna have corn. This is ambrosia, a bicolor corn. I think it's 75 day if I'm not mistaken, but all of it's about ready to be like harvested. These are the first ones. Just a few tomatoes, we're gonna have BLTs. So we're doing BLTs, corn on the cob, and then I'm gonna fry up some beans um, with some bacon. It should be really yummy. I also might try to can these Rayano peppers, and I'm not sure about the sweet peppers. That's a whole lot of sweet peppers. I might try freezing some. Uh, the extras will go to friends and family like all of our other stuff usually does. Um, and when I get a huge amount of stuff, like when I have corn that's like already at the same time, I might, if we have time, I might try to, to preserve some of it, so freeze it and, and so forth, or I'll just take it down to the garden center and give it away. So that's kind of what we like to do with our produce and try to make use of our space and use what we can as a family and then give away uh, everything else. And Anyway, that's it for today's video. I absolutely love doing harvest stuff. I just love picking things, being out there, kind of seeing the fruits of our labor. And I'm not the only one taking care of that space. You guys know that we have Paul here who helps us uh, out in the garden and he has the cut flower garden zoned to where he looks that, you know, there's four kind of quadrants and then there's orchard. Um, and so he looks at one section of that every single day of the week so each section gets uh, weeded once a week and so it never gets out of control and that's hard to do on a raw piece of ground like it was you know that's the first time we've gardened in that space so we're dealing with a lot of puncture vine and bindweed that was there prior and we hand weed that whole section there's no spray that goes on even organic spray that goes on around that area so anyway he's been helping me keep it weed free i'm typically the one that comes in and plants and um, does the harvest uh, but other than that he's like it's a huge blessing to have his help out there. So anyway, huge shout out to Paul. Thank you for all of your help. Um, anyway, I'm just so thrilled with this. So thrilled and it looks like our temperatures are starting to uh, improve. Today is supposed to be 104. It feels feels warm. It doesn't feel horrible out here, uh, but tomorrow is supposed to be 91. So, I mean, maybe I should have waited to do this until tomorrow, but oh well, we'll do something else fun tomorrow. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and we will see you in the next one. Bye. Do you want to help me shuck some corn? I'll show you how. See, look at this. We're going to make take this right here and make it look like this. Okay? So what you do is you peel these back. You want to try? Okay. Good job. Now take another one from up here. Another one. And then another one. Yep. You just keep on going. Right here. Yep, almost there. Now, how about this one? Sure. Oh, you're almost to the corn, buddy. Look, how exciting. Ready? The corn is ready. Oh, the corn are ready? Yeah, here, you want to pull this? I, I can grab this. Here. But that one's already ready. That one's ready, almost. Do you want to pull the rest of this one off, bub? But this one is almost clean. Yeah. But it's not ready yet. You want to pull the, oop, uh-oh. Just leave it, it's fine. I'll have to clean it off, baby. Yeah, but it just smashed. Okay. It got smashed right on there. Did it get smashed? Now pull that one. <gasps> okay, now pull all that. All that. All the, those are called silks. Silks. Mm-hmm. So. We've got to pull all those silks off and then you go like this, pop. So then you got to clean all the silks off like that. You can work on that if you want. Or, let's not, I'm gonna do another one. Smashing. I'm gonna do this part. Okay. Great job. Ooh, nice. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. I Ready? It smashed that one. Ooh, it smashed it. <laughs>
Um, we're almost. I just had to get to the new one here. I just had to get to the new one. Yeah. There's a, exactly a lot of these. There are a lot. These protect the corn oh, while it's I'm, forming up. Oh, I'm Are almost to the corn. Almost. I'm almost there. I have to pull all these weeds. Yep. Weeds. I pull all those weeds. Oh, look at that, Benjamin. Look at how pretty. Can I pull these? I'll pull these. Okay, now I'll pop them off the end. There we go. Pop what off. we do is we cook these uh, in boiling water and then we rub butter on them and put salt and pepper on them and they're delicious. Yeah, I like it too. Do you like it? Yeah, and even pepper and that make it spicy. Yeah, so those aren't too spicy. They're a little spicy. You, wanna, you can smell them if you'd like. Oh, they're not spicy. Mm -mm. No. No. They're a little spicy. Maybe. No, it's not a little spicy. Not a little spicy? Do you uh, like the flavor? Can I, can I, can I, can I make it in my tummy? Yeah. Look at this weirdo head of corn. Look at that. That looks weird. I just ate it. You it's, ate it? I, yeah. You ate the pepper? Yeah. Good job. Well, I left the pepper on. So I ate that part right up there. You know what? We're going to eat this anyway. Because corn well, is good. I like this so much, but it's kind of like, it's kind of like a lollipop. The pepper's like a lollipop? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Well, that's awesome. I wish it had uh, sugar like a lollipop. Wait, what? What? See that corn? Can you hand me the corn that fell on the ground, please? Watch your head on the table, please. Is it this got we smashed? Go. Yeah, nah. We'll just put it, uh, we'll just wash it off. No big yeah. deal. No big deal. Nope. Okay, now we're gonna uh, we're gonna get these beans ready. So to get the beans ready, look. See this bean? We have to pop this top off like that. Can I? Can I? Can yep. I let me turn? let me see. Yep. You pop the top off where there's a stem. Where? Can you do it over the bucket, please? Like that. Mm-hmm. Do this. Like Watch. here. Watch. See. Go. Pop. I can't pop. Maybe this one is a little too flimsy. Try this one. No, not that one. Try this one. Yeah. Yeah. Just have to do it right here. Mm-hmm. Oh, there you go. Now put the, no, not the whole thing, just the top. We saved the good part of the bean down here. Like what? this, babe. There's the tops. Don't, uh, don't do it down the, halfway down the bean. We want to eat the bean. You have to do it right here. Mm -hmm. No, this side. That side's okay. Oh, no, not that one. Not that one? Here, try this one. I'll do this one. Here. Oh, great job. So we saved this, and that one can go in there. Good job. I have one. And that one? I did it. Great job. You see? I did it. Yes, you did. Fantastic. The bean. Here, uh, let me give you this one. Okay. I did it! <gasps> Great job! That one goes in there, yep. so I'm going to hand you that one. Great job. Here, why don't you do this one? I'm sure. Whoa. There. Thanks, sweetie. And this is the very last bean. Mm-hmm. Benjamin, awesome job. Thank you for your help. Now we can go inside and cook it up. Oh yeah. Oh yeah.